Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for more Warhammer 3. Not a War Warhammer 3, that is. There's a bit before that. We are on Immortal Empires with my Astrogoth Iron Hand campaign. And when we left off last time... Excuse me one second. I was choking on my introduction. When we left off last time, we are sieging Krakadrak, which we are about to go in and fight just for you guys. And we are down here trying to eliminate Grimgore Iron Hand, which... Hold the phone, I didn't realize. Hang on. You're not right there. Thank you. But do it quickly. Grimgore Iron Hand now has zero settlements, ladies and gentlemen. Grimgore Iron Hand is disappearing in life. This faction has no settlements. I think that is their last army. Which I have a mission to go and destroy. So. Astrogoth Iron Hand. I've just taken the Black Fang. And the Warhurst of Zart managed to take their last other settlement. Gorge of Rock. I went and gave this to Black Fang. Because I don't really want it. It's a single settlement. He has the rest of it. It was kind of just annoying to be honest with you. I didn't want to have to deal with a single, single city in a province. So I gave that to him. It got me an offensive alliance, an offensive alliance, a military alliance, as well as six thousand gold. So I call that a win. And so we are about to start steamrolling the ogres down there with two armies. What we're trying to do up here is finish off the dwarfs, which is our short victory campaign. Victory conditions short. Once we've killed Krakadrak, we then need to get fifteen more settlements and we shall be done and then this army is going to go down and start aiming at the bone rattlers as they also have a gold mine i noticed and i want that gold mine because i want resources not doing great nothing is uh particularly winning out at this stage to be honest so need to improve things really need to improve things so at this stage Settlement Garrison is a little bit weak. We have four siege engines, I think. The war strength is down to 75%. It's a decisive victory with low casualties. But we're going to jump in and fight this one just for you guys. This is technically my short victory condition. I have to destroy the... Not the race. I don't have to destroy all dwarves. I have to destroy the faction. Not technically just destroy the city. So I have to destroy the faction, which I will be looking to do. Uh, but this is their home. This is where they start. This is what all they had until about three turns ago. And then they managed to take a settlement off Wintertooth. But after I've taken this out, their other settlement is going to be pretty much non-existent. It's not a provincial capital, so it won't have walls. So it should fall quite easily. Right, now then, there's a bit of a gap. No, there's a tower there. Right, well, their walls are down to 75% health, so I don't know if that means... No, these are all full health, so... Should be some holes somewhere. This is all at full health, this is all at full health, this is all at full... Okay, for walls at 75%... Oh, no, okay, there's a there's a damaged fort tower. That one... Is that... Whoa, what the... What is going on there? Um, Let's start deployment. Uh, that fort tower. Oh, the gatehouse is almost completely destroyed. The fort towers are almost completely destroyed as well. Okay, so it turns out I'm doing all of my damage against this area. But no, we're almost on the inside. So <laughs> I'm going too far backwards there. So I am actually, hang on, control A. Why don't I, bring, why don't I just bring everything? Thank you. You're all facing the wrong direction is your problem. Now, do I want to also attack this part of the wall? Potentially? Oh, maybe. You guys can... You can definitely... Uh... This, this background thing is really annoying. Uh, you guys can all line up. What? Whoa! It's a full bug. It's there's there's a magical wall here. Okay. <laughs> look at look at my bow shooting range thing. So hang on. 
Oh my god, it's like, it's an invisible wall. I don't even know if I can get to here. Like, look at my guys. They're, like, they look what they are. Okay, I think I may have found a bug, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, maybe we'll attack this stretch of wall. These aren't towers. So no, we should be back here. See what happens. Um, not really ideal, because now we're going to get more towers destroying us. But maybe I can... I don't know. If I can get in there, maybe I can... Uh, maybe I can do something about that. Let's have you guys start on Vanguard. I'm just going to hit you guys against doors. Let's have you guys... You can... Basically go in with... Whoops. You guys can... Uh, go in with Gorgas. You can stab some backs. Uh, so let's chuck you in the middle. You there. Let's chuck you two by here. You can go on that end. Uh, you guys can drop your siege equipment. And... Go in behind them. And then all I'm missing somewhere is a runesmith. You can go in not so far forward. Okay, so we want... Yep, you three together. Let's put a number on you two so I can easily select you. And let's start. You guys go in there. You guys get into there. You guys start to move in. Yep, okay, that's destroyed. Oh, they're long beards. I probably don't want to, uh... Well, does get into them, my friend. Okay, well, I seem to have scared a lot of them off the walls. That's for certain. Go and attack the quarrelers, please. Let's put your replenishment going up because you just took a bit of a smash from some archers. Okay, all of those guys. Let's get you guys in. Second one can get into those quarrelers. Oh, you guys are getting slightly melted. Let's <laughs> let's get you back out. I actually kind of want to just get you in here a little bit, to be honest. spazzed out as well he's stuck he's he's actually stuck uh, okay yeah you're still firing you guys are deciding to try and climb towers that's fine Get yourselves up on walls then if you're going to be that difficult. Get yourselves down there. Get yourselves down there. This whole thing is spazzing out. Let's 
This whole thing is spazzing out. You get yourselves in the back of there. Come back this way. You just come over here somewhere. Okay, my hero is... He's actually stuck. How are you? Ah, oh, you've made it to the wall. Fantastic. Uh, oh, that's just Gorda's. That's all fine. You can please throw that up there. Throw a burning head up there as well, please. reach to mount these guys. Thank you very much. That'd be fantastic. Oh, that's you. You're through. Uh, you guys. Run. Run. No, not you. Just my vanguard unit, please. Oh. Oh no, my, my Vanguard unit's dead. That, that'd be. No! <laughs> Flames! Why are you betraying me? I don't know who else I just selected, but. Oh, these guys. Get down here. Why are you still on the wall? Don't tell me you're spazzing out as well. You as well. Get out the way. Come on. Down you go. What is this? Oh my god. This is such a messed up fight. Uh, get yourself in here. Uh, Wolfman, come up to here. I tell you to do the same, will you? Nope. Go this way, please. Oh, they've decided to come back up on the walls. I know! I'll send my hero to intercept them. Oh, wait, he's frozen. Oh, wait, is he moved? No, he hasn't. He's he's landed. He's 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 in a wall. He's not even visible anymore. He's he's inside a wall. Okay. Let's get uh let's get some back capping on the go, quite frankly. Let's destroy these towers. Who are you? You get yourselves up here. You, I don't know what you're doing. Just, just move. <laughs> you shoot him as well. What are you, what are you get, get, get in there, get in there. What are you doing? Start capping some points. It's a platform, yes it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah is all I can say. Is that what, what? Get yourself back in here. Where do you think you're going? Okay, some long beards are dying, I think, as are some dwarf warriors. I'm really not sure. One of my units is running away. It's not a truck or a horror. Uh, I think I should have taken the auto result, especially considering the problems I'm having. <laughs> this has been a. Uh... Oh, there you go. We'll call this. <laughs> Not the best fight. I I admit I could definitely have done better. I will never go and deny that. But um... 
couple of interesting bugs in that one, I think. So we almost lost a Hachi unit. And we have possibly lost our sneaky gits as well. Uh, loss is 674. That was supposed to be a decisive victory with low casualties, ladies and gentlemen. I think I did a little bit worse. Um, as long as all my units have survived, they'll heal up in like two turns anyway, because of Gore does. He's good like that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I did a little bit worse. And so there we are. We did lose the Sneaky Git. We didn't lose the Archers. They managed to survive. But the Sneaky Gits got completely destroyed. Mostly by my own Flame Spell. And can we have a tower? We can. It'll cost me 50 to get it to level 2. Oh no, wait, hang on. So in that case, I am going to take... I'm going to sack it. He's got his Lamassu now. Not that that helps. And now we're going to occupy it as a tower... Do I want to straight push it? Nah, I'm going to do it with a normal tower. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, just confirm our weakest unit will be done in two turns. We are, however, like I said, we are now shy of a unit, though. Which was a sneaky git. Hmm, haven't really got the gold for that. Brackadrac, you are a tower. You have gemstones, you say. That'll require level three. We are... We'll get the control and the donation barrel. I mean, I'll probably get this, at which point... Uh, what else do gemstones do for me? I think it's just gem and gold mines. Yep, which I do love. Income from gem and gold mines in the local province. If you're lucky enough to get a gem on a gold mine in one province, like, you're, you're pretty much just going to be sitting on Fort Knox. Like, I mean, that's just stupid. That'll be some ridiculously good... Uh, that goes all my money. That would be some ridiculously uh, good luck, in my opinion. So we do. I probably should have put you at level 2. Much, much, probably even level 3. It's much easier for me to use Conclave Influence at this point than it is any of my resources. But we're going to chuck some more defense in here. That'll take a couple of turns. It'll take me a couple of turns to reheal. And uh, then, yeah, we're going to go and destroy this building army. All of these wonderfully amazing looking miners. And... Then go and take their last city and continue this conquest. So, we did get some more points. Do I need any more healing? Probably not. Will I put a point in there anyway? Oh, no, I don't really care about this. Hmm. I'll keep minus 10%. It's huge for me at this point. We have further fodder. We have that. No, so we're going to go through Rally. And then we'll keep going through these. Lucky lackeys? Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm, not really. Wretched Warhost? Not really either. So just lucky lackeys, actually. Melee attack, missile strength, just for all the laborers. Ward save 10% for laborers, hobgoblins, and hobgoblin wolf raider units. That's amazing. Stand or die. Okay. Might. Oh no, after spending one skill point, we will get to that. Because I'm going to put one in lucky lackey. Done. That'll be very nice. I can apparently still build things. This will be... Yeah, has, it has to be... Uh, armament buildings. So I shouldn't be able to build anything else. I don't have the money. Don't have the money. Don't have the raw resources. The only thing I am massively smashing out, and I say massively at this point, it's actually gone down quite a lot. Is that by any chance to do with... What am I spending in my manufactory? Only 48, so not too much. Extra powder. Yeah, definitely keep that on. So no, nothing too much. But that doesn't seem to be going great at this point either. And I need to keep that up because that's what I'm going to be basing all of my convoys on, basically. Oh, greasers. Hello. I think I need to kill you. Oh, Galtak, you uh, keep running through the snow. Ignore the stone dust. I will see you now. Warhost of Tsar. How can I help? You want me to join the war against those two for a hundred gold? Uh, keep keep saving up, and we'll we'll talk in a few more turns. Keep trying, my friend. Keep trying. 
a hundred gold to declare war on two people. Are you crazy? I'm trying to secure my borders, not flipping start them up all over again. Okay, Ooh, we're almost down to our last a hundred. Oh, Clan Mulder. Yep, thought you might get destroyed soon. Confederation. All goods. Village the Cursling. The Cursling. Ambusher discovered. Oh, yeah, that's one of the bug things that happened, I think, due to the recent, last recent upgrade. Bound spell fireball. Uh, on that. Did that affect it? Ash no, Ash got fire in hand. You are there. I want you to go. Oh, Greasers! How you going? Subdugitas. I want you to go. Oh, I'm in ambush. No, I'm not. When in view of, of another faction's army. Oh, okay. Because what I think I want to do. Problems go into my gut. You're at war with the Heralds of the Tempest, you say? Oh, is that right? Is that right indeed? In that case, let's do this the cheeky way. Heralds of the Tempest. Speak, mortal. How much do you want to give me for going to war against Goldtooth? You'll give me a military alliance or... Eh, well, I'll take it anyway. I mean, I was going to go to war to them either way, so... Right. Oh, Greasus, 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 Goldtooth. <laughs> You'd like to just walk into them at this ambush, please? That would be marvellous. You'd let me allow me to dreadquick mortar you. Like, oh, he went past me. Damn it. I've ignored him. He's the guy I need to kill for my thing. Oops. Well, I can Let's see. Oh, no, you got... No, you're done. You are now a full army. You are now going to force march your way to here. You're going to wait for this guy to uh, come down and be crushed, quite frankly. So you're there. Faction encountered the Barrow Legion. Yay. <laughs> so Yay. There you go, that came off my convoy. Some more vampires, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy I found them. Dangerous Ubrun. Yep, very nice. We need to go and destroy you before you become a problem. And you're expanding. Oh, well, it looks like I'm going to be getting a whole province. You don't make a difference. Let us... Let's come around to there. We're still going to get full replenishment, so that'll all work out. In terms of buildings, we probably can't get a huge amount. But let's have a quick check around as to what we can get. A bit more gold, maybe? Yep, always love a bit more gold. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much else to be available. You need resources? Yeah. That's, I need to really up. So this is going to become an outpost region. Because I really need to up my outpost game. Uh, on that note. Accept new labor. Go, Galta, go! There's so many of them. They have settlement after settlement after settlement. How can I help you? Oh, you're doing very nice. You are taking back... Join war against Thunderguts. Sure, but... I feel like you should give me a little bit more money for it. Happily. They're in my way, or they will be, so I may as well. May as well get some money for it at the same time. I feel like I should reach out to Hag Grief and uh, see if we can at least become 
mutually non-violent people. Because I said, I think Hag Reef is possibly still number one. Still at 105. Our forces were spotted. Rooster Skull Tooth has run away. Nice. Convoy complete. He got a feral mammoth and an everlasting glacier. Enables frostbite attacks, physical resistance 20%. That is amazing. Unhappy populace in the Pillar of Skulls. What does that exactly do for me? Uh, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's yeah, not really worth it. So hang on. Let's go back to my armies. Astrogoth Iron Hand, my friend. Ah, oh, no. That's as far as he can go. Can underway a little bit closer. Hi, Greasus. Where are you going? He's trying to get himself back. He can get back to Blizzard Peak this turn. That's a shame. Blizzard Peak, I assume, has... Oh, unknown, but it's got two, four, seven units in there, which will always help. Syndra's Ubren. How much defense, chance, and moons most attrition enables replenishment and access to the global recruitment pool. Uh, ambush... Boiled. Ah, Ashgoth was was discovered. Ah, he ran away. Oh, he's going to be involved. This is just going to be an open field battle full of just miners, miners, and more miners. If I had some artillery, or maybe some blunderbuss, I would fight this just so we can see all those miners get absolutely destroyed. But as I don't... We're just going to auto-resolve. All of them get smashed. This uh, is a good outpost, I said. And so now we are just down to one guy left. Oh, we've got a port here as well. Control plus one, casualty replenishment rate plus... Nice! That extra control will definitely be... It's only up to a plus three, but it'll definitely be a huge boost. Let's get that thrown in. And let's... What do we want? Lucky lackeys. Lucky lackeys. You... Uh, get that, Gits. And summon in... Summon in some hobgoblins whenever we so feel. Magical reserve... Everlasting Glacier. Arcane item. You can't have one. You can. That's a good point. Yeah, it's not even going to be on anybody because... Physical resistance plus 20%. You are literally the only person in my whole set of forces that can actually use such an item. Enchanted item. Yeah, we're not going to need to put that on somebody. Potion of Toughness. Replenishes hit points of combatants. Wow, I don't know why. Heal per second, not point. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Enchanted item. Heal per second, 0.8%. Use is 1. Heal per second, 0.8%. Duration 21. Ah, so that one lasts a little bit longer, but that does give you armor and melee defense at the same time. Yeah, it's a lower rank. I don't know. I feel like that one's a bit better. Talisman, Luckstone. Okay. Uh, on the... Ha, 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 to be you. Cool. Oh, good. We need some more weapons, is what we need. Who has not moved yet? You have not moved yet. Oh, hi, hello. Oh, Grimgore Ironhide. Are you still... Defeat army Grimgore Ironhide. Well then, let's uh, see what we can do. Decisive victory, low casualties. 
kind of want to take the auto resolve because Grimgor Ironhide will solo my whole army. So I think I'm just going to do that. I kind of want to see Grimgor Ironhide be destroyed, but I mean, he's level 26. He will literally just solo my whole army. So I'm going to use the good old calculations given to me by Warhammer. And the auto resolve, spare resistance 20%, very nice. We shall we'll take the treasury, actually. Armor plus 10, armor piercing damage plus 20. Alley mission successful. From Goro's Ard bodies have been destroyed. Let's start coming back down this way. Let's, in fact, put you in fast march. In fiery presence, sorcerer's thrall. No, 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 no. Sorry, we want. Yes, and that gets us onto harsh master. Let's also go root marcher. Oh, that was. Yeah, no. Wait, let's. Let's do both of those. We'll do inspiring presence next turn. Yes. We're definitely going to want to get replenishment on this guy. Let's keep you moving forward. Come on now. Don't, uh... Don't screw with me. The world walkers. Look at all this. This whole end portion of the map is just theirs. It's just like... They have taken this whole outcropping piece of land. It's just ridiculous. Ah, uh, yes. I was going to reach out to... That's basically uh, strength rank. Yes. Kraza Crack is now strength rank one. That is terrifying. That's probably got a lot to do with one rug. Um, the confederations have been doing world walkers, bone rattlers are eleven. I need to go and kill those. Whoa, host of Zar. What am I? I'm six. So I'm the second strongest one that I know of. Oh wow, so where's Hag Grief? I thought they were I thought they were number one at one point. Fifty-five! They must have just lost all of their armies, because they must they've just been smashed. Alright then. Puppets of Misrule. He wanted me to pick a fight with them. That was just terrible of you. Goldtooth is 26. Crackadrin is 24. Ancestral Throng is 22. They must be the ones destroying uh Hagrief at this particular point. Warhost of the Apocalypse. You catch me in a moment of less risk. Non-aggression, trade, not military access. You can balance it out with 2,000 gold. Yeah, very much so. Pose that offer. That secures my northern border quite well. Got a quick deals. Supreme Champion. Legion yes. of Chaos. Sal and the Gore Queen. 173, 144. Of glory. You know much of demon pets, don't you? You can give me 74 gold for it as well. You're at war with... Uh, I guess we're... Uh, going against Hagrid. But she is strength rank 15, so... I will tolerate this. And that should also get me... I don't know. So Sal still wants it. That's why I did her first. Because he was on a plus 3. And quite often... To be honest, do... I'd rather be raiding. But you have my time. You do have stuff Understood. that drops off. Take what's theirs. Two more trade agreements Perish done. Power. Legion of Chaos. Yeah, we may as well. You and you're not that strong at the moment. Demon you don't want trade. I guess you don't trade. Well then, no, don't worry about military access. We'll just take your money. Uh, oh, no, in that fact, actually, I don't demon want... Prith, lover, fighter. The Ecstatic Legion will have a defensive alliance with me. Hmm, yeah, I think you're about to be dead from the World Walkers, so I'm not going to bother with that. Anybody want peace? I'm at war with all these people? Damn. What have I been doing? But, uh, yeah, no, none of them want peace, especially Crackadrack. They really hate me. I thought they'd want peace the most. They're about to die. Well, that's, uh, that was a nice bit of diplomacy. See, even the bad guys can do diplomacy, folks. And most point, that is a nice bit of extra gold. Let us see what we can do in terms of you know, Firemouth. I'm not so worried about anymore. 
Save a mountain. Not so worried about you anymore either. It's a czar. Can have that thrown in. You need yep, more, quite frankly. You just need more! What we are going to do is... No. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, so hang on. If I... Just because... Raw materials, 500 per turn. Increase my workload by 400, but still. Raw material output, plus 15%. Mortal point as well, it gets me... Wait, does it give me marble? No, it doesn't actually give me marble to trade. Anyway, never mind then. But it is still very much worth it. Who still wants stuff? Why and when? Uh, no, I would have loved to have gotten more tusk. But that's not going to happen either. We'll get... No, I'm not going to use up any more raw resources. Until I've gotten a few more, that is. We have so much we need to get. Oh, uh... Yeah, raw material output plus 10%. Why not? Why not indeed? Okay, I think we are good. Okay, so the Silver Pinnacle is the one I want to upgrade the most, because it's got the 30%. Not that I'll remember that very, very shortly. And that one comes home in one turn. Wow, this one has 16 units. That is... Oh, we've got a Hydra, a Black Dragon, everybody's on three gold chevrons. <laughs> Not bad. Retired Demon Swift. Cannonary experience. No, I thought that might have a dread quick mortar in it. Ogre controller. Yes. Except you lost all the ogres, didn't you? Resource change in three turns time. We shall simply go for... Nice. I kind of want to go for a nice, cheap, cheerful one. Oh, that'll do. No, we're already going there. That won't do. Okay, in terms of using armaments, I just really end up getting some gold. Which isn't really what I want to do. Uh, da, 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 da. So we don't... Oh, we do have a bit of gold, to be honest. We can... And gold for laborers. They have blades? I mean, that's terrible. That's just... That's just disgusting. I think that's probably the one I've just gone and finished. That's why. Silver Tower of Sorceress in 8 turns. 13 turns. It does go up by a fair amount. But now we'll keep 8 turns. Alright, well, uh, we'll be dispatching all the way up there. Like I said, ideally, I want to keep using my armaments, but... How are we doing in terms of workforce? Well, we'll chuck you back on. You can get chucked back on. As can you... And as can you. We've just gone and gotten all of our labour, so let's keep all that increasing. Runus negotiations. Diplomacy plus 20%. Plus 20, sorry, not plus 20%. Let's hit that in turn button. And let's see if anything happens. Legion of Chaos. I am once again not going to be trading with you. Hello! Olag has come in with reinforcements. It's a close victory with medium casualties. I will lose my one goblin unit. Uh, we are definitely going to jump in and fight this, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming towards the end of the episode, but I guess we're going to be expend extending a tiny bit. Because... Goldtooth wants to come say hello. Let's fight this battle. Let's do a little quick save. In case I massively mess this up and... There might be a slight cut here. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, so we are going to jump in and... Uh, yep, Grease a Skulltooth. I think you get something... Ooh! We're fighting in an underway situation, which means his reinforcement numbers count for nothing. 
I always find that quite interesting. So because I'm in underway stance, he's turned around and attacked me, and so we're technically going to go into the underway. I mean, it's an interesting way that I feel like you could abuse a little bit because he has he has a couple of a couple of lions. Uh, I don't think he has. Let's try it for once. Hey, it went well. No, it didn't. Oh, total power. So I think my total has increased. Recharge blocked. Okay. Uh, deployment. Now, my most important weapon. My... Oh, I'm still going to be short of him by quite a lot, actually. Huh. Well, we're going to be moving that up straight away. And... Uh, it's a very flat terrain, eh? I've got a little bit of a hill on this side. And that's actually just because there's a little bit of a dip on that side. It's a very... Very flat world, I'm afraid. So, we want to... Give you up. And stick you guys just behind. Let's group you and lock that formation, please. Let's group you. Sneaky gets in my first line of defense. Good luck. Go and group these guys. Oh, the problem I'm going to have my blunderbuss. I'm not going to get any shots off. So how about we make you a little bit thinner? We ungroup you. Quite frankly, you guys can just stand behind because. Arrows arc. You guys can go that way. You guys can go that way. And both of you hopefully can curl in. You can go up front. You're supposed to be on that wing for now. Let's have everybody move up, please. Go, mech boy, go! Wow, because it's just there already. Let's keep moving forward. Oh yes, right in that corner, please. Right towards the back, please. Let's just get you chucking something in there. Any reinforcements are approaching, but that's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say stop, fire at will. Go on to defense mode. You guys as well. Yeah, we, uh, we broke some Noblar trappers. Got plenty of people down on half health. 
it's apparently lost 500 people. He's, uh... Let's just throw this straight into the middle of them again. Doesn't seem like he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> How many kills are we on? 201. How about Astrogoth? 56. 203. They're, uh, yeah, they're kind of just dawdling towards me. I'm happy to sit here and keep absolutely destroying them, quite frankly. I know there are only Noblars, but... Oh, yes! Noblars Iron Fist... Where are our ones with ammo? Where have they gone? They are, I don't know, is my game going slow? No, they're just walking. They are literally just walking towards me. <laughs> they're not in a rush. They're happy to get shells. They're happy they've lost 700 units already. They're not worried. Yeah, this thing does much better against larger groups, but uh, that's quite all right. Put a bit of slow sl slow time on there. Oh, oh, they've decided to speed up. They've decided they care. Oh, and he hit me with something. Okay, so there's a lot of melting going on. Let's have you go through there. Oh, we uh, cancelled. Uh, let's not worry about that. You guys up there. The heads. I don't know, we'll get you some iron guts. Get you charging up the back. Mount the noblars. Up there. You, yep, you. Uh, no, you can switch, see if we can take him on. Fly, fly, fly. Thank you. Good dodge. No, come 
Let's see, it's those guys. Get back in here. Who's attacking you? Guys, come around to there. Oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I do decided to go a bit crazy. Uh. So yeah, they just got melted. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I increased my base weapon down. Okay, that's acceptable. Uh... You can just straight up die. I think I. No, Greece has got away. It's very annoying. Uh, I didn't do too bad. I didn't do too bad. There you go. The Lord died. Let's end the battle. End the battle. I didn't do too bad, I don't think. 320. I've forgotten actually what it said at the beginning. I think it. I really can't remember whether it was medium casualties or high casualties. But uh, yeah, Greasus uh, just got melted. Honestly, I don't get... He, his whole, whole army decided to slowly walk towards me. Um, Like, yeah, Greasus. Oh, so they didn't deploy 1,700, but looks like they deployed about... What's that? About 1,500? But by the time they got to me, they'd lost 500 units. A third of their combined armies were dead. Look at it. It's, it's, it's just, just melted. Absolutely melted. We shall take the extra labor. Thank you very much. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't quite get that. Yates. Hey, we're just going to take a stroll through the underway. Uh, sir, there's cannon fire coming in. Hey, you walk nonchalantly or you go home. You not getting any of the meat in the pot. Now walk forward nonchalantly. Yeah, sure, sir. No problem, sir. I promise, sir, that's all I'm going to do. Uh, military alliance with Azazel. Uh, we're going to say no because we think you're going to die. Throg! Wintertooth! You probably want me to join the war against these guys, right? Yeah, that ain't going to happen either. <laughs> they are scary. Ooh, 103. We've lost a couple. Income from trade tariffs, 10%. Income from all buildings, 20% in the local province. The trade tariffs is the one that I kind of thought I was getting. And it's the one I wanted. Thunderguts are dead. Ally begins outpost. They're building an outpost in Crackadrack. Absolutely love it. That's where I choose to build one. Ruinous negotiations. Very nice. Raise or sack the following settlement. Crack drum. Mission aborted. Because... That's a good point. It belongs to my ally. I should have been aborted ages ago. Convoy complete. Got a whole set of new things. And he got an Arachnorok spider. And an Orc Shaman. Huh. Okay. We'll be stealing that off you at the beginning of the next turn. And uh, where did you get to? Uh, you got Bar. Everyone tells the overtyrant what to do. 
for a man that just attacked, got defeated, and then, I don't know, somehow tried to run away. You got really far. Oh, and I seem to have recovered half of my units. How oh, very strange. It's like I attacked him on the end of my go last turn. Well, we're going to chase him next turn. Before we turn around and come up for Blizzard Peak. Oh, are we? Hmm, tough choice. I think we'll chase him next turn. I will make that decision, however, in the next episode. Because that is unfortunately all we have time for, ladies and gentlemen. I just saw another gold mine. I am so happy. Gold, gold, and more gold. Some more tusks. I have no idea what spices does for me, if anything. And uh, yeah, then of course we've got a gold mine over here. That's going to be our one that we're also going for. Oh, and look, there are uh, like more Dowie are turning up I to be killed. Lord, not some smith. Oh, really? Gorndok. So, yep, yeah, he will move up there. He's going to start chasing them. He's uh, he's going to start the conquest. He's going to come across to Blood Peak. Might go up to Titan's Notch, or maybe Astrogoth by this point will be coming down towards Titan Notch. If so, he's going to turn around and start coming down this way. The other thing, obviously, to do is just uh, completely ignore that, start coming down the left, and then eventually hope Astrogoth can come down the right before they cause any problems. But that is uh, that's a bit of a gamble, I feel. I feel that's a little bit of a gamble. So that is the plan for next turn. I'm just seeing where Krakazorn is, as this map is sideways compared to the Realm of Chaos map. So uh, that's what I've recently gone and done in my Drizoth campaign. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you're still here, feel free to hit that big old thumbs up button and subscribe. So you do not miss any of the future content. And until next time, stay safe. Stay happy and stay healthy. We'll catch you in the next episode, folks.